So let's take this second example that's asking us to determine the point or the points on the graph of the function f of x which is given by the expression x squared minus 1 times 2x minus 3 where the slope of the tangent is 34. So you see we encounter the same elements. We have a function and we are looking for the points where the slope of the tangent is given to us to have a particular value, 34 in this case. As long as you understand what each of these elements represent, it's easy to make the connections. So right away I see that the condition that is imposed to us is for this slope of the tangent to be 34 and this slope of the tangent we all know this represents nothing else than the derivative f prime of x. Well, if that's the case we don't have uh, an expression for the derivative. So let's calculate f prime of x. It's going to be d dx of the expression of f of x. It's x squared minus 1 times 2x minus 3. Now we cannot uh, approach this uh, product directly. What I'm going to do is expand this parentheses. So this becomes d dx of 2x to the power 3 minus 3x squared minus 2x plus 3. Now this polynomial expression we know very easily how to calculate and I'm going to do it directly. So this is going to become 2 times 3 which is 6 x to the power 3 minus 1 which is 2 so 6x squared minus 3 times 2 which is 6 again uh, x to the power 2 minus 1 so it's minus 6x minus 2 uh, derivative of x is 1 so minus 2 only. Uh, the 3 it's a constant so plus 0, we're not going to write that. So f prime of x is equal to this expression, 6x squared minus 6x minus 2. So now, if I'm looking back in the problem, I see that I'm looking for the points on the graph of this function where the slope of the tangent is 34. So I need to find those points where this expression that we just determined for the derivative of f of x is equal to 34. So I'm going to say f prime of x equals to 34. That means the expression we just determined, 6x squared minus 6x minus 2, is 34. And this is nothing else than an equation that we can solve. So obviously we're going to have to move everything on the left to make it equal to 0 to uh, solve like any regular quadratic equation. So I'm going to write 6x squared minus 6x minus 36 because I moved 34 on the left side everything equals to 0. And this is just a quadratic equation. I can see that I have a common factor of 6, which I'm going to factor out in the next step. I can say 6 times x squared minus x minus 6 equals to 0. And uh, this expression x squared minus 6 minus 6, I can write it in a factor form as follows. 6 times, and the expression in factor form is going to become x plus 2 times x minus 3 equals to 0. You can use the quadratic formula to uh, solve this equation, but for simple expressions such as this, you can easily factor it. And now we can see that for x equal to minus 2 or x equal 3, uh, this expression is going to be 0. Or in other words, the slope of the tangent is going to be 34, right? So these are basically two points that satisfy the condition imposed in our initial question. All we need to determine now is the corresponding y coordinates for these x values. So I'm going to take them one by one. If x equals to minus 2, then uh, the y value is going to be f of minus 2. And I'm going to evaluate this by plugging this value into the expression of f of x. So it's going to be equal to minus 2 at the power 2 minus 1 times 2 times minus 2 minus 3. That's easy to evaluate. It's going to be 3 times minus 7 which is minus 21. So one of the points we were looking for is going to be minus 2 and minus 21. The x and y coordinates for it. And uh, the second point we found if x equals 3 then we calculate f of 3 to be 3 at power 2 minus 1 times 2 times 3 minus 3 which is going to be 8 times 3 which is 24. So the second point is 3 and 24. Now we found these two points. Let's conclude this problem expressing everything as it was requested from us. We can say that at points 
minus 2 and minus 21 and 3 and 24, the slope of the tangent is 34. These type of problems are very common and you're going to encounter them more likely throughout the course. So make sure you understand uh, how to approach these type of problems because they are rather simple as long as you understand the concepts and the connection between these concepts. Thanks for watching.